What's up guys? It's another early morning here in Salt Lake City, Utah. Today's mission, see how well we can fly or if we can fly in some turbulent weather here and in some wind. Heck, I gotta fly, daily flying, man. If you don't fly every single day, you're doing something wrong. We'll see you guys there. Okay guys, the weather here actually looks pretty good or wind direction looks pretty good for us to launch. We launched down there on that grass going this way. I'm sure you saw that in a recent video. It's eight o'clock, so it's no longer the early time that it was, uh, but it's definitely quite windy, as you can see. It's quite gnarly, so let's see what we're gonna get. Let's see how it's gonna be. I have a feeling it's gonna be just a little bit bumpy. Nothing too out of control, nothing too wild. Look at that. It's all just about the glider control, baby. Woo -hoo -hoo! Little foot drag on launch there. All right, let's get these troops down. And we're up! We are up. We got Jordan behind me there. We are out on a windy day. It is like 8.30 in the morning. And I'll be honest with you, it, it's pretty freaking smooth, man. It's pretty smooth. I am not getting any bumps. I am willing to completely let go. Yeah! I definitely wish I had my sunglasses at this time. Let's see what time it is. Oh, it's 8.23 in the morning. 8.30 on a windy day, and we got beautiful conditions. Let's go fly out to this uh, the end over there, the peak. I don't know what that's called. Look at this thing. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. There's a, I don't actually know what they do over here, but it's kind of cool to fly around, rip around past all these giant barriers. It's a lot of barriers. I wonder how much money is in barriers right here. I bet you it's quite a bit. I can touch them. Oh, I missed it. My bad. Oops. Whoopsies. Let's follow this road. I'm going to go up the road. I totally could nail a touch and go right now. Totally could nail it. I want to kind of play around here. Now there's going to be a little rotor down here because that's where the wind's coming from. Look at this. I wonder what this is. What material is that? I can foot drag it. That is funky. Woo! All right, let's see if I can nail a touch and go. Let's see. Can I do it? The top of this road. Yes, sir. -y. I sure can. Let's go smack into some bushes, huh? Smack into some weeds. Whack, whack, whack. <laughs> Just plowing through the weeds. Talk about a place to set her down. I mean, I guess if you gotta do it, you gotta do it. Speaking of setting it down, I'm gonna set it down. Well, 
that's pretty neat. You know what I'm saying? I'll set her down right here. Yeah, right there. Booyah. Look at that, huh? Right on the edge of the water. Utah Lake. We're airborne! Woohoo! Yeah, buddy! Let's see if Jordan sets her down. Here goes Jordan attempting a touch and go in some gnarly conditions. Oh, yeah! Oh yeah, just a little run across the ground. Atta boy! Whoa! Oh, we diving her in. Boom, baby. Watch and learn. We do a launch right into a foot drag. <laughs> oh yeah! And now my foot is soaking wet once again. Yeah! Look at that! Here comes Jordan. Setting her down. Atta boy. Woo! Yeah! We'll just touch it down. Here he goes. There he goes. Up and away. Look at this, huh? Could skip some rocks. I got a lot of good skipping rocks out here. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, three skips is pretty good. I'll tell you, I would never end up over here if it weren't for a paramotor, dude. I mean, look at that thing. What else can you just come in, fly in like a freaking bird, land on the top of this random spot out here, and enjoy the view? Like, what's good, baby? Super Jordan, 5XS foot drag. Yeah. All right. Let's get out of here. All right, I am just setting the glider up in a little bit of a horseshoe. Still all tucked away so it doesn't blow away. But now when I grab my A's and I go to lift it up, it'll lift up pretty easy. Foot drag. Tool landing. And back up again. But wait, but wait. Oh, I missed it. I was gonna do a foot drag to landing to foot drag launch. On water. All right, boys, let's see if I can land it on the pier right after that post. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. 
yeah. Alright guys, we got Jordan out here still tearing it up on a 5XS. Woo! He is cruising. Hauling booty. Well, that was quite a flight, guys. I actually landed out there on that pier and relaunched on it. I was going to land over there. It just was a little tight. If I was on a 2XS, I would have done it. But the 4X is just a little spicy. Just a little spicier. We got Jordan here on a 5XS, man. Woo! Yeah, getting bumped around a little bit. Going through some wake. Going through some rotor. That was sweet. So you guys could see that pier out there. That's where I actually landed. I wanted Jordan to land too. We should have brought our breakfast burritos and had breakfast out there. That would have been funny and pretty cool. Maybe in another video. Just didn't have the burritos this time. Uh, the wind uh, turned out to be extremely smooth. Let's see. Is he setting her down? Whoa. <laughs> I liked that. I liked landing out there. That was a good flight. That was a fun time. Did you see me land out there too? I did, yes. Yeah, that was... I ain't nobody done that. Listen up, y'all. If you're not flying every single day, you're doing something wrong. Get back to living. The more you fly, the happier you are. I genuinely believe that the more I fly, the happier I tend to be. If I'm not flying, I ain't the happiest guy. Flew for about a half hour, hour before we landed. I am absolutely starving, which is why I put it down. But uh, maybe we get our tradition of breakfast burritos. <laughs> Got Jordan's attention. Breakfast burritos after every flight. Okay, guys, well, we'll see you in the next video. If you want to learn how to fly a paramotor, go to flyflytop.com. I'll see you in a couple of days.